Hello everybody, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. When we're waiting for people to get on, just once again, if you're listening to this on our podcast ways, whether it be Stitcher, SoundCloud, or iTunes, make sure you tell others, share, and also leave a comment and or rate. That really helps us out and gets the word out. Also, you know, if you have not been to IamHero.com forward slash free series, that's where you get the one month to win, which we're kind of going through. So make sure you check that out. And Tim, what, uh, what social we focus on this week? We did YouTube last week. YouTube last week. Let's focus on, let's focus on Instagram. Hey, Instagram. So make sure you check us out on Instagram. It's Dr. Zaino, D-R-Z-A-I-N-O on Instagram. We have really cool stories and the guys have great posts. And I know a lot of you guys like the, the 10 to 15 second little kind of like uh, bits we do. They're just, just, you know, from the different episodes and they're quick, they're short, but they kind of like focus you. It's like a, a 15 second fuel. Make sure that's what, that's what we have on station at Instagram. So make sure you're enjoying that and make sure you follow us. Say hello. And you know, we could continue, we could communicate that way. Just so you guys know, I always answer your comments, all the comments whatsoever. So, you know, what I'm there for you. So anything you ask, comment or private message, I'll be doing that. And, uh, this week only, you know, I'm, I'm leaving the door open for the, uh, the Hero Rises Mastermind, so you know if you are fit for that. That's the $2,000 Mastermind I have that's only open for 10 people. We have about four spots that were taken, so we still have six spots left, but we're going to allow that to go the rest of the week, and after that it is closed. And uh, the, a couple questions I asked is, this is not a chiropractic thing. Uh, someone asked, hey, you know, what are we going to be learning? Like, it's, a mastermind doesn't mean you come and you learn how to run a 2,000 week practice. That's called the Zeno experience. That's a $7,500 ticket for that because we're literally training you. A mastermind is we, we bring in some questions and you have some, uh, Napoleon Hill termed the, 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 the term mastermind because when you have a group of highly, you know, just driven people coming together and we, we, we kind of started with a couple questions and we collect data from the areas that you're struggling with, you have a collective mind. When you have 10 amazing minds in the room, it creates a collective consciousness, a collective mind. And we get to see things, all of us get to see things and learn from each other, and it really takes you a whole new level. So for me to, ha- for me to actually have a curriculum, an educated curriculum, would be a disservice to someone in a mastermind. A mastermind is just that, allowing us to bring our minds together, create this super mastermind, so that's why it's called a mastermind, and then watch miracles happen. So that's what the mastermind is. And you, and you know, I mean, uh, like I said, if you watch the video, uh, I'll put that link there. Or look on my Facebook page. You'll see if it hits you here, then you know it's right for you. If not, don't worry about it. Just, it's only for 10 people. I can't really do it for anybody else. So that's right. So just let me know. Just uh, contact me. Email drzano at drzano.com. And uh, don't, don't contact me saying you're interested. Contact me saying where's the link to take care of it. Because you already you know, interest really, interest never built my career. You know, interest never built the hero. You know, there's no interesting stuff. You either do it or you don't. All right, so today, speaking about uh, being interested in winning, is how do we get a jump start on winning? And also, how do we get a jump start on competition? Well, a lot of times, and it's a very simple thing. It's going to be very simple, uh, but it really is effective, compounded over time. And the way you get a jump on the jump start in winning is waking up earlier. Yep, I know. Waking up earlier is the closest thing to literally creating time. In fact, in your life right now, if you wake up even one minute earlier than you used to, you're literally creating time of productivity through the day. So if you want to wake up, let's just do one hour, right? So we wake up one hour earlier per the day in a week and do it every single day. That's seven hours a week or or a full day per month, one full day per month that you opened up to full, uh, you know, because it's in the morning, Un, uh, uninterrupted, focused, you beat the sum up, sun up productivity. Just think what you could do with 24 solid hours of focused productivity. Do you think your life would be better? Absolutely, right? I mean, just think, that's your workout time, that's your meal prep time, that's your personal development time, that's all the time you said you don't have time, that's the time to do it. You know, the time to read the book, the time to meditate, whatever it is. It Just don't use that time to sleep in because that's... Uh, going against the whole purpose of it. So just as, so it's, it's jumping one up on the competition, that's the way I look at it, to win. Um, or I want to be productive as much as I can. So this is what we want to do. So we want to wake up one hour earlier. Start with one hour. I think that's the best. Because if you say, if you're waking up at 7 or 6 and someone wakes up at 4, like the Tisha's saying she wakes up at 4, I mean, I, I'm all for 4. 
But for a second, let, let's just do the baby steps, even a half hour, okay? So the half hour, just set your alarm clock a half hour earlier. Put your alarm clock in, the, in another room, okay? And don't hit the snooze button. That means if you have to get up, you have to walk outside the room, hit it, you're already awake, and then you start your thing. Have your, have your morning routine going. The morning routine will change your life, also gets you going. And this is a great time for parents out there. You say, well, my kids, you know, with all the kids, I don't have time for me. You know, time for you is going to be in the morning when the kids are sleeping. So that's a great time to do it. That's your hour. Dads or, or, or guys, you know, whatever it is, same thing for you. You say the kid, you got to do this with the kids, wake up earlier, everybody's sleeping. When I wake up, everybody's sleeping. So it's the only time where there's no other human beings around me, focused. I get, you know, everything I need to get done that I'm working on. I have a plan. So the night before, a little bit before bed, instead of watching TV, I plan the, I plan the next day. That's part of this. You know, you want to start the day. You know you want to finish the day before you start it, so the night before I, I finish the day for the next day. I know what I have to hit. So I know when I wake up a little bit earlier, boom, I have the plan. I know exactly what needs to be, be hit on. And this is not uh, ingenious. It takes a little bit of work. And I apologize, and hopefully, and hopefully I've never let, let, you, let it seem to be that way, but anything that, that any product out there that says you're going to be able to do this, it's going to be comfortable, and it's going to be easy, is a lie. You know, everything's going to be uncomfortable and everything's going to take work. Anything that you want in life. So, so if we could just get rid of the four-minute abs and the, 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 the little easy, comfortable things, nothing's going to, nothing great and amazing in your life is going to come from a comfortable setting. So, but the thing is, it's so exciting. I'd rather be excited and a little uncomfortable than comfortable and not things move throughout the day. So it's so easy to just wake up a little bit early. It is easy. You know, just, you just get out of bed and shut up your alarm clock. And the unco it's uncomfortable for about 15 seconds, and then boom, you start your routine. I start with my drink, and you go on your day. I've read so many books. So just think, if you, if the average American reads less than one book a year, and you could read 15 books a year, and literally read them, like study them, like we had that, I'll, I'll have to do that again, how I actually read a book. I actually make book reports on them on my phone. If you were to read 12 books a year, one book a month, would, would you be better and more personally developed than the average person? Yes, the person that you work next to in your, in your, uh, at your work, and they're not doing it, and you are doing it, in a year would you be, I don't want to see better, I mean would you be more developed and add more value? Of course you will. So this is not about becoming better than other people, this is about developing yourself to bring more value than the other person. So I could say I bring more value than someone else, because that's true, right? You know, I bring more value than the person who's not. So how can you raise your value? And it happens. Like Dean Peters, he's on here. You know, early rising has changed his life. He wakes up early, he Facebook lives his uh, workouts. Now, I know for Dean, Facebook live and his workouts also keeps him accountable to working up early and doing his Facebook live on his workouts. So you see, so I, I purposely hack things in my life to make me accountable to doing them. So I wake up early, I do these things because you're going to find when you wake up early and you start reading, you start personally developing, you start getting that computer work done or anything that you had to do prepping your meals, whatever that is, you'll find that when you don't wake up early, you don't get to do those things and your whole day feels funky. So your whole day becomes the day you used to live, but then you realize that those, not having that morning time, you'll realize how off you are for the rest of the day. And you're going to realize, oh my God, that's the way I always was. So you really appreciate the morning time. So now you'll wake up, waking up earlier will be easier because that, that morning time is going to be so valuable to you and it's, it's going to be so, it's the it, it's the best time of the day to then fuel the rest of the day. And this is how you get a jump start on winning. You'll accomplish more things. You'll get all the to-do things that you always want to do done. You won't have any excuses. And you'll be literally having 20, 24 hours, or if you want to do the month, 28 hours at the end of each month. 28 hours of, of pure focused, you know, no disruptions, no interruptions to exactly what you have to do. I mean, how amazing is that? You were looking for the time. And you say, well, I can't make more time. You're right. So you wake up a little bit earlier, and that's the easiest way to creating time. And then make sure, because you, um, you planned your day before the day started, then you know exactly what you need to do. So you're not going to wake up early and say, so what, what, what am I going to do? You know, I'm going to wake up. I got to, I'm going to start reading this book. I'm going to start, or I'll wake up. I'm going to do, like, now I'm doing 12, uh, 15 minutes of cardio, hit style cardio every morning when I wake up. And then I, so I, 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 I had the whole thing planned. You get in that routine, you become, you, you go from good to great, and then you go from great to unstoppable. And that's the winning mindset. That's the hero mindset. It's that unstoppable momentum. And then you'll just, you'll actually crave 
production. And that's where you want to be. And uh, so for you guys, I mean, there's really not much. I can't, I mean, I'm not going to really talk more about waking up early. It's very simple. So everybody on your watch or on your iPhone or whatever phone you're watching, um, I want you to set whatever alarm you have, set it for one hour earlier, okay? That's the first thing we're going to do today. And number two, before you go to bed tonight, make a little, a couple things, two things that you're going to do um, for within that one hour that you have extra. So you created more time. What are the two things on your to -do that you would like to do? So if you did those two things, the day would be a success. Put those two things down and make sure you do it tomorrow morning. And then also uh, comment. You know, contact me. I'll be your accountability partner. I guarantee if you wake up early and you probably message me, I'll be up. <laughs> so, so I'll be up doing my stuff too. Uh, so just uh, to keep accountable, probably message me. Let me know how you're doing with that. All right, so Dean Peters right, said, he said, it allows me to run the day instead of the day running me. Absolutely, because when you wake up early, you're the master of the day. You're the master of the time. You don't like time and crisis master you. I was doing, a, we, were, we were filming this thing this week. We actually filmed an entire course on time management and pro productivity, and we married them together. It's called time expansion. We did a one-month course on that, a mini course, and we talked about that. You know, when you're in your routine, you control the day. You know, you control the calendar. Because it's very easy. When you get thrown off, it could take you not a day to get back to your routine. It could take some people years. You know, we had a hurricane in 2005. We had Hurricane Katrina go through Louisiana, knocked out Louisiana. And uh, it was probably, it was around 2010, I had a new patient uh, that was checking out the things. They didn't sign up. I'm like, why are you not signing up? What's, what's going on? You know, you got to correct this. And, and they were still uh, talking about Katrina. I'm like, Katrina, that was five years ago. This poor woman, she didn't have a routine, right? So when you don't have a routine, you don't have a set point. You don't have a true north. So her life for five years was all over the place. We had a, another patient uh, several years ago. She asked, she's like, Would, do you have any uh, widow, uh, widow discounts? And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, when, um, when did this happen? And it was 17 years ago. Like she was still mourning over 17 years ago. It's like, wow, because you know what happened? That crisis threw her off. She actually found her identity in that crisis, never got back on a routine. So because she's off her routine, she allowed the emotion of that one event really take over the next 17 years of her life. So that's why plan, the, plan tomorrow, finish the day before you start it, wake up one hour earlier. You gain 28 hours. Um, you can literally gain 365 hours. You get, you get to, I don't have it. Do the math. Whatever 360, 365 hours a year you're going to add to the productivity of your life. And if you don't think you're going to be so far ahead in value and personal development in yourself, and you're going to feel the sense of, man, I, I, you're not going to feel running around. You're not going to have all this, this to-do list. All that's going to be done, and you'll be able to have everything to do what you want. So one hour a day, creating that time, we'll be able to do it. Have a blessed day. We'll see you guys tomorrow for 15-Minute Fuel, or just in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body, and your future. Episode 46, We Are Heroes, is live. Check that out. Please comment and please share, just like right here. Okay, so good. Thank you, Dean, for doing the, the calculations. Also, hit the share button, right? Dean Peters said, if you wake up one hour extra a day, you, you literally created 15.2 extra days. Imagine two weeks solid of productivity all to you getting exactly what you want to get done. It's all there for you. We'll see you tomorrow nice and early. God bless.